Happy Halloween and welcome back. We're now at that point of the year where I'm not really going to be doing regular videos again, but there will be a few short little ones like this as well as probably some special episodes. So right now I'm just out here checking out some fall rye. This field has a heavy, heavy load of volunteer canola in it and you can see it is still for the most part alive and well. We do have some frost damage on some of these younger smaller ones but a lot of them here are still pretty good. It's kind of depending on where the moisture is, where the shelter was from the wind. You can also see our soil moisture here is, this is an irrigated field, so we do have some decent moisture here. And that is helping to hold a little bit of the warmth. So our soil temperature here at 1.30 in the afternoon, about 6.3 degrees Celsius at two inches, which is pretty close to the air temperature right now. We're at about six degrees air temperature here right now. It's supposed to start getting colder tonight and turn into winter by next week. Here on a dry line corner, you can see the temperature is about the same, so still about six degrees. A little bit less moisture here, but there's still some. Still a decent looking stand of rye as well. Definitely not as much volunteer though, because it didn't come up until later when we started to get more moisture. So this time of the year, it's really not worth spraying volunteer canola or anything anymore. It really looks like next week we're supposed to be getting down to minus 20. So that is definitely going to finish off 99.9% .9 of this volunteer canola and any other annual weeds and burn off the tops of any perennials for the most part. So unless you're putting down soil active herbicides, you might as well have your sprayer winterized.